Hey guys, it's October 14th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. We're right in the middle of FQS Stitchtober. I'm super, super, super excited to show you what I finished this week. I will tell you my hand does hurt and I have a callus. It's probably the first time I've had a callus in a while, um, but it definitely, um, I've been stitching away and Lori's been stitching away. So Stitchtober is a collaboration between me and Lori Holt. So I'm gonna start and show you kind of what I did and then what Lori did this week. So we're gonna start on day seven. So here's my cross stitch journal. And um, let's see, this kind of, I divide my projects up. So the very first day, which was last Wednesday, I worked on autumn typography. And that is designed by Pine Mountain Designs. So here is her pattern cover. You can buy this in a PDF or a paper pattern, either one. And here is my piece. I pick my own colors. They're listed on the blog. And there's a thread pack. And I stitched on 14 count water Lily Witchell. And then I will show you, oh yeah, here's the thread pack page. So if you buy the thread pack, it will tell you um, Sandra's version, she's the owner of Pine Mountain, and then my version, and then what's included. And so I like my colors. I'll show you kind of how they look. This is kind of my color scheme. And I was super excited about this because I actually picked my thread all by myself, which is like rare. Ask Denise, I usually don't. I'm not that great at it, but I think it looks good. And this one didn't take too long. It just took like an hour, hour and three quarters. So I'm excited about this. And I love that I'm using Witchell. It's my favorite brand of cross stitch. I'm pretty, I really like plain Ada, crunchy Ada. That's what I like. I don't like anything fancy. So um, that was my first day. And it's good to schedule Wednesdays to not have too much because then I can kind of not get so tired through the week. The next one is mix and match. The final one. The sample. So this one, this bag is from Crosshatch Quilts and I'm gonna show you the final version that Denise did. So this is what I'm working on. I started with the border was one of the days and then each square is one of the days. So I got through this and this week will be these two. This will be tomorrow and I think this will be Saturday. And I'm doing mine exactly like, um, Lori picked the threads, um, Denise did this sample and I'm doing the exact same one. So it will be all the same and here we go. So I went, I'm going to tell you a funny story that's funny today, but was not funny then. Ooh. Let me get all my stuff out. So this is the free border layout. So you could use this layout and just pick Christmas blocks and do a red border, or you could do fall and do a brown border. So this is a free layout you can find on our blog and our website, and you just put the nine blocks in. I'm using these patterns, so let's see, set F, which is that, set A, set C, Farm Girl Fall, and one more, which is right here, Quilty Love. But you don't have to do that many. Um, each of her patterns come in the same layout, the same size of stitch count. So from here to here, it's basically a 24 by 24, and then she adds a little bit around it. But any of these, so you could actually do this exact thing, but put this border. So there's a lot of mix and match that you can do, which is um, what Lori wanted to do. But my funny story is, well, first I have so many papers in here that I had to put my thread in a separate little thing. So here's my thread. Ooh. So pretty, I like to look at my thread. <laughs> and um, one thing I was really, I don't wanna say stressed out this week, but I was, and I am still stressed out. And so I was really trying to hurry and get the stuff done. It was late on a, you know, whatever night I was doing this, it was super late. And I started making the cat and I put the cat here. 
awesome. So I had to take the cat. I didn't have it all done, but I had like the whole outline done. Oh, man. And I had to pull it out. And then I, um, you know, when you pull your threads out, that black really stays. So Peyton found me double stick, really sticky tape that we had somewhere in the house. I was like, please find me. He finds anything. I'm like, please, wherever we have the double stick tape. And I was able to get everything out. So I was very happy about that. I was worried. Um, but so like I showed you, I'm gonna do these two this week. And these don't take that long. This one took me an hour and three quarters and the other one, the same thing. And I don't think I counted the time. I don't think I counted the time where I messed up. Um, Cause that was uh, probably 30 minutes. It was too late at night. That was my problem. I should not stitch late. And after eight o'clock, I should not, I should be in bed. <laughs> this is my fright night. So we have this bag and Oh, let me figure out what page I can show. I'll show this page and turn it over. So here we go. So this is a PDF that Cody designed. This was part one. I'm gonna show you part two. And this Friday will be part three. Next Friday will be part four and the next one will be part five. So it's, you just pay one time and then it's a kind of a mystery. So these are my extra floss that came with it. And these are, you can see there's not very many colors used. These are my floss bitties with the Weak Style Works. Um, I used finishing tape and put those on. And we're gonna show you in another one how you can do it a different way. You can do it like that but I'll show you. So I love the floss bitties. They're selling really good. I'm super excited that you guys are supporting us on that. Um, I love them. So here it is. Okay, this took me almost five hours. So I did do a little tease right here for next week. And the reason I did that is I wanted to make sure, so what I did was I kind of started here, went down, and then I went over here because I wanted to make sure that I had this in the right spot because I was worried if I did this whole thing and didn't have something over here that maybe one of my stitches would have been off and then it wouldn't have lined up. So I did do that um, just to stay lined up. And what I did here is I did the outline up here, the outline down here, filled this in. Then I did the white up here and then I filled in the bat. So I definitely put all of the white first. It took quite a bit of time. And I will tell you next week, this will take more time. So, but this one's really fun. I think this section will be more fun because this is a lot of fill in. And sometimes when I do fill in, I start cheating and like taking breaks. <laughs> so I'm not as efficient because I get bored. And this is our little needle minder that goes with it. So that was on the ninth, I kind of put a little too much this week, I think, to be honest. This, the next one is, was the cat that I already showed you. The next one is Trucking Along October by Stitching with the Housewives. And so this is, I'm in the Trucking Along Club. So I went ahead and did the left border and then next week I'm gonna do the right border. Now, the reason I did both of these up here was because I'm always kind of worried if I start here and just go down, I need to have enough going that I know that, hey, this lines up with this so that I don't get off because I'm afraid if I do this whole thing and then I come back and do this whole thing that maybe something's not gonna line up. So, and then I kind of got started cheating for next week so because I had a little bit of extra time. But um, I love this and so, this week I will do the right side and that took me almost four hours a little bit over three and a half hours and this bag is from dot dot goose it's my little piggy and then on the 12th I worked on Calvin and Trixie which is also Priscilla and Chelsea and this I just used the called four colors I know it's so pretty, right? Mm -hmm. So on this one, I am using 14 count hazy gray by Fabric Flare. On this pattern, Priscilla and Chelsea dyed their own Monaco 
and they have a video on how they dyed it. So I'm using a different fabric. Their fabric is a little bit darker, so I changed my pumpkins to be blue, the ones that were white, and Chelsea gave me that idea. And then um, the next three weeks, I'm gonna go from the bottom to the top. So I'll probably do this this week, the next week, and the next week. So I kind of got the hardest part done, I think. And I think this will be kind of fun, the little checkerboard legs. It'll be kind of fun. So that is day 12. The next one almost killed me. Oh my gosh. This, I should have broken this up different. So this is Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Holt. And I have everything on my floss bitties. And I got this idea from someone on Facebook, and so I'm just putting the full card on there instead of taping it, because it works just as good. So I've got all this in here, and you can see that I've used a lot of the colors, so it's kind of a, a lot of, when you have a lot of colors like that, I just dump it in my bag. Mm -hmm. So, this is Lori's new pattern. Her Prim Sheep Needle Minder goes great with it. I'm gonna show you the finished piece, but this week I worked on the Scarecrow and it took me over eight hours. Now what I wanna show you, okay, Denise is gonna hold it, sorry. So Denise made hers with DMC and I'm using Weeks Dye Works. So I just wanna show you the difference. It looks really similar. The DMC, has more variegation between the overalls than mine does. So you'll see that. And the DMC is a little bit darker over here. So that is, if you wanna see the difference. And then this next week, I need to work on the flowers. So the sunflowers that go up. And I did finish the pumpkin that I was missing. So that took forever. And that's kind of what I'm working on, but then I'm adding a new one to next week that I'm gonna start today. It is Let's Talk Autumn by Hands on Design. And this is the first in a series of four. We have not, oops, we have not seen the other three, but I'm assuming I will make them all. I'm using her colors. I put them on the floss bitties and I'm using the DMC. And that's what I'm gonna work on. So I've already cut my fabric down and I'm going to this week, I think it's Harvest Blessings. And then I go down from there. So I've gotta do this today. I think it'll take a while. So that is for today. So let me know what questions you guys have. And I'll put everything back. Yeah, let's see, we had lots of questions coming in from Beth Says So. Hello, I have a question. Uh, why is my thread twisting so bad as I am stitching? Is it the way I'm stitching? And any tips on how to correct? Okay, so mine, stitch, mine does that all the time. So what I do, I don't have anything. I basically take the needle out of the thread and I separate it. So if there's two strands, I'll pull one strand this way and one strand this way, put it together, re-thread it, and restart stitching. And if you railroad, that will also help. Railroading, you put your needle in between the two threads. And I think that it's different for everybody. The one thing that I find that's interesting is when I use Aurifloss, it is like gold. Never tangles, never have any issues. When Cheryl uses it, she says it knots all the time. So I think it does have to do with how you stitch and just, you know, cause like RF floss is like one of my favorite things to use because I don't have to start and stop. I just, so it's gotta be something with how you turn your wrist is what I'm guessing. Uh, from Stella1710, do you stitch directly from the pattern or do you make a copy to keep your place? Oh, I use the pattern. 
and I don't use a highlighter. Some people use highlighters. I use the Line Keeper, and that um, I kind of keep it, and I kind of do a little two crosses, and then it tells me where to keep um, my pattern at. It keeps my eye going the same way. From Katrina Williams, she was wondering if a quilting fat quarter is the same as like a cross stitch fabric fat quarter. It The width is, so 18 inches is, but the half of the bolt is sometimes different. So some of the cross stitch bolts come wider. Most of them come wider, so you get a little bit more. Instead of the 20, you usually get a little bit more. Depends um, what width it starts with at the manufacturer. From Grammy Love, I want to put a pug in the pumpkin patch. How do I work it into the pumpkins? I got the Stitch People book and it has a pug in it. Pumpkin patch. What is pumpkin patch? I, I think of the pumpkins, pumpkins for, for sale. sale. Like put a pug in the patch. Oh, yeah. I think you could put the Stitch People in there. Um, and they also, Priscilla also has a pug that she has drawn that is on her blog. She's drawn two of them. One was for a truck, one of the trucks. And one was for pumpkin pile. So there's those three. So I would kind of pick between those. I think the pumpkin pile would be too big, but I do think the um, the one that she has that sits on the truck would be good. Okay. Um, and how would you go about putting it like into the pattern? So I would kind of, I would Xerox the pattern and kind of decide but i would kind of get like kind of like i showed y'all last week where i did the little spreadsheet either use graph paper and draw it out and kind of like if you have two sunflowers kind of draw your sunflowers see if it fits so i would use graph paper or i would use elementary um, computer skills because i don't have anything advanced um, but i would kind of draw it out i probably wouldn't do it on the pattern just because i know that i'll have to redraw it a couple of times uh, from Charlotte Burkhart, your colors always look so full. Why do you think I'm getting little white dots of white color behind mine? You're probably pulling too tight, I would say. So kind of do it less, less tight. From Kaylin Murray, is Aura Floss like DMC where it has multiple strands or is it like Silky Weight 12 that only has one strand? It's six strands. It just comes on a spool and uh, people say it's more expensive, but you get like triple the amount that you would get on a regular skein of DMC. And what I like about it is I don't have to put it on a floss bitty or, um, you know, floss flower because it's on a spool. And from Nita Pool, you have needle minders on all your projects, but uh, some of your needles are stuck in the fabric. Are the needle, needle minders only for when you're stitching? I use them for when I'm stitching. Um, sometimes I'll leave the needle on there, but a lot of times I don't because it will, will in your bag when you're, I take this to and from work every day, this little bag. And um, I feel like, I mean, it jiggles around in my car. I feel like the needle will fall off. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you could put it on there and see. All right, and then we've had a few super chats coming in. Uh, the very first one uh, about an hour before the live stream was from Valeria Bauer for 1999. Uh, and Valeria put the little pair that says, thanks for being you with the little mirror. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Valeria. She's always here. Yes. Uh, Deb Summers gave us a super chat for 4.99. Thank you, Deb. Thank you. And then our next super chat was from Dot Dot Goose Designs in Nice for ten dollars, and Dot Dot Goose uh, says, uh, "Miss Gracie loves the spooky box. Thank you." Oh, thank you. So she's talking about a quilt, one of our quilty boxes that we sent out. Yes. Uh, and then from Susan Summers, super chat for four ninety nine, and Susan says, "Love Fat Quarter TV. Thanks for the inspiration." Thank you. That's so funny, Fat I Quarter love. TV. That's, That's what I would tell my kids. <laughs> I'm going to tell them, I'm on Fat Quarter TV. You want to watch Fat Quarter TV? I love it. They haven't watched me in a while, so I won't let Kevin watch. That's like a big no-no. If he watches, he's in trouble. I don't let him watch. <laughs> but I like my kids to watch. But they can't watch anymore because their school starts at 730. Mm -hmm. Or 7, yeah, 730. Yeah. So now I'm going to show you what Lori has been working on. And her first one is called Bad Kitty. She stitched it on fabric from her stash. 
She's using Weeks Dye Works and DMC, and this is from the Celebrate oh, Book. Yeah, it's from the Celebrate Book. It's on the image, sorry. So she finished that, I think. And on the Celebrate Book, that's one of the ones that we're, um, I think Cheryl's been working on something from it. But um, on that one, she has a lot of patterns in it, and it's a really good low price. It's just that there's only color um, color images on a couple of them, and that keeps her cost down. So she's got that done. The next one is Matilda Hornbuckle, mm. and um, it's by Not Forgotten Farm. She stitched it on fabric from her stash, and she is using DMC. And if you would like that pattern, you can call Shepherd's Bush in Utah, and they have that pattern. So now I'm going to show you kind of clubs and some different clubs that we are offering at Fat Quarter Shop and um, just kind of talk about what we're doing so that when we add clubs, not everybody gets confused. Mm -hmm. So the first club I'm going to show you is Fabric Flare. So Fabric Flare is a company that screen prints on their fabric. This month, if you join, it ships around the 15th of the month. This is what you would get this month. It's called Cobweb. You get an 18 by 27 inch piece. You can do either Ada, oh, only Ada. And what Denise does for you is she gives you three pattern options that she thinks would look good on it Ooh. each month. So this is this month. Antique Sage is next month. And Snow on Blue is the month after. Ooh. Now this is showing the color is not showing right. Let's show in the front camera. There we go. So it, this is more of the color. And I decided today that I'm gonna join this club because for some reason I'm not in this club and I don't know why. Good. So that is one of our clubs and, oh, I wanna show you this. So it is screen printed. So on one side you will have a print. The best thing about it is it always tells you the name and the count. So if it was 28 count, it would say 28, or if it was 16 count, so that you would always, you always know what color, so that if you wanna reorder it, and then the back side is white, cause they screen print on one side. And this would look, I think this, this fabric would look really good with a lot of Priscilla and Chelsea's Christmas stuff. Stitching with the housewives. So that's the first club I wanted to feature. This one would also be really good. This one would have been really good on, let me find it. It would have looked probably, yeah, Calvin and Trixie. So it's called Sage, but to me it's gray. Look at that. That's probably what I should have used, but I thought the hazy gray would have been dark enough. And so what I'm going to do is join this club so that when I, so that I will stitch on stuff and show you what you can do with it. That's our first club. The next one is so exciting. This is NPI Silk Fine Floss Club. And I'm going to show you the first 12 months. This is Iris Blue. So this is actually what you would get in your package. And on the back, I'm only going to show you one of these. It tells you the color. On NPI, they don't have names, they just have colors. So it tells you what you have, so you could keep your card and you'll always know what you have. So this is January. So each month you get five skeins. Starts in January and it will just keep continuing and it will ship around the 24th of the month. So that's January. February is Strawberry Rose. March is Fern Green. April is Almond Cream. Ooh. It's pretty, right? Yeah. May is Wild Watermelon. And June is Royal Purple. And one thing I am, I'm going to join this club so that I can um, stitch stuff so that you can see what you can stitch with it. And I'm going to just kind of build it up and once I have enough colors, use it in maybe Mania or Jolly July or Stitchtober. 
July is desert sand. August is banana mania. September is my favorite. Space silver. So you can see that when we did this, I'm going to take no credit. Um, when we planned this club, we really took into account that it's, you know, you get a variation of light, medium, dark, so that if you need a pink, hey, I've got a good pink. Or if you need a black or a gray, here you go. And they all mix together really well. October is pitch black. And, um, I want to tell you three of these are more brown and two are more black. And the reason why is because they have two blacks. There's no, um, there's not, they don't have a lot of black. And then for Halloween, we've got outrageous orange Ooh. and we've got spiced cranberry. Ooh. So it's really pretty. I'm very excited to offer this club. We hand selected every single color and we think that if you join um, and then so like this will be 2021 for 2022 that we will start over we will keep the same colors every month if possible and we will do different colors until we run out of duplicates so this starts in january again it is silk floss now this floss actually comes with how many plies is it it's more eight ply, eight ply instead of six ply so you actually get a little bit more. Hmm. And everyone has, like I said, on the back. So you could kind of keep a little file folder of this and you would always know what you have. And if you, you know, if you use the whole skein, you could just like exit out or something. So I'm super excited and a big thank you to Denise and Cody who picked these because I used to help with picking clubs and I learned that I get very frustrated because I just get, it, it's just too much for me. I'm not great at it, so I've decided that I'm not gonna do that anymore because they do a better job than me. Mm -hmm. But I am gonna join that club so that I can show you um, different things you can do with it. And our other club I wanted to show you today is Prim Stitch Series. This is pattern four. If you're in the club, you have received it already. If not, the pattern is now available on our site and that is by Lori Holt. It's the Prim Stitch Series. You can either stitch it as one piece or um, individually. So let me know if you'll have any questions on any of that before I move on. Oops, sorry. Let's see. <laughs> I'm dropping things, I'm sorry. <laughs> From Fiber Fairy, is it an over-dyed floss? The no, it is, uh, it is a solid. Uh, from Gigi Odom, is fabric flare soft or crunchy? I think it's in between. Um, it is, it is for me, it is, it is hefty enough for me to use it. There are some fabrics out there that are so soft, there's no way I would even attempt to use them. Um, so I primarily use Witchell and fabric flare. Um, one other time this year, I used a 28 count you know something and i use lori's 25 count um but those are so lori's 25 count witchell and fabric flare my goal for 2021 is i'm just going to try to use 100 percent ada i'm going to try my best to just do because what i'm finding is all of this is a lot of work and i enjoy all of it but i can really go a lot faster and i really enjoy the process on ada more and i really like just the plain like the chalkboard black um, or the lamb's wool. I just really like it. I like the plainness of it. And I would rather spend my money on fancier floss than fancier fabric. And some people would like to do it all fancy or all plain. You should do whatever you like, whatever fits your house. Um, but I don't want to be showing you always like super expensive stuff. And I'm just gonna show you kind of what I like and what I like to use. Uh, and then a few people had been asking if we were going to get more of Picture This Plus. We are. So we sold out of that super fast, and Denise is ordering it daily. And they have a dye list and a wait list. 
So not really a wait list, but basically as a store orders, you get on the die list and then the next store orders and then the next store. So we just get it as we place it and we cannot offer a club for Picture This Plus that you guys asked for because they're not able to offer that due to COVID. So Denise and I are going to meet in November because I'm really overwhelmed right now. Um, just to be flat honest, um, but we're going to kind of meet and come up with some other options for um, different clubs. In addition to, we have a Witchell Club and the Fabric Flare Club. And honestly, we started there because that's what I like. So selfishly, I want to have a club that gets magically delivered to my office every month. But I'm <laughs> learning that a lot of people like Picture This Plus, which is much softer or, you know, different fabrics. So we're going to meet in November and we're going to kind of look at... Um, availability because not everything is available right now as it would have been like if i was filming this one year ago we would have been in a totally different um, situation from katrina williams can you use the silk floss on any chart or just samplers oh yeah i'm gonna use it on i'm not using it on a sampler y'all probably never seen me make a sampler i'll use it on anything <laughs> yeah no i'm not a sampler person um but there's some people that just stitch samplers and I I think they're really awesome. And when I go to a cross stitch store, I love to see them, but that would not fit in my house. My kids would be like, what is that? <laughs> you know? That's funny. Uh, from Lindy Overton, do you mix silk and cotton on the same piece? I don't. I mean, you could. And some people like, for example, Teresa Kogut or other designers, I can't think of the name right now will mix Weeks Dye Works, Classic Color Works, DMC. They'll mix those in a project. So I think you can. Uh, from Jennifer Gregory, is the floss silky and slippery? Yes, it is very fine. And it's got really good reviews. And what we liked about it is that we can get stock of it. So they, are, they make it in the United States. And so if we reorder, we can get it quickly. And so that we, if, you know, if our club goes crazy, we know we can add to it because I don't like sitting here and telling you, oh, we can't add to that club. Because, you know, so that's kind of why we did that because there's a level of reliability built in. Mm -hmm. uh, from Fiber Fairy, will you be doing a week Style Works Floss Club? We do. We do. Oh, we do. Floss Frenzy. Floss Frenzy. Mm -hmm. And that club, we're gonna show it next week. We Excellent. don't have, we're going to add some more spots, but we are not sold out yet, but it is very similar um, colors per month. So it's the same thing where Denise and Cody pick light, medium, dark, that kind of thing so that you get a range. And some of them will be variegated, some of them won't be as variegated, it just kind of depends. From Iris Rivera, what's a sampler? Okay, so a sampler, that can get not controversial, but different people have different definitions of it. Samplers are what little girls used to do in the 1800s, and it was part of their schooling, like home ec. Mm. And they would have to do the alphabet and something else. So it was, so you can find them, and some designers use replicas of them, like, I'm trying to think of the name of the lady that does them, the authentic ones. She's from, she's from Europe. Um, we went in her room at market. I can't think of her name, but um, some people do authentic ones, but it usually entails something from your home, like a house, a church, and an alphabet, because it's something representative of what would have been in their daily lives, and that was part of their schooling. Mm -hmm. And Carol from Saltbox Stitcher does a lot of samplers, so if you want to see a sampler, just watch her channel and look behind her and she's got like 50 of them on the wall. Uh, people are saying Nicola Parkman? Yes, okay. yes. I can't think of the name of her thing though, Nicola Parkman, but she Nicola does Parkman. and she has a YouTube channel and she does very authentic, um, she uses silk, she uses very fancy um, fabric. She's more of like a truest and it's beautiful. I mean, some of her stuff when we went to market, I mean, I'm talking like huge, uh, it's like a painting. Hands across the sea. Yes, hands across the sea. Thanks everyone in the chat. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I cannot, if I don't use it daily, it's hard for me to remember everything, but I do watch her YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, okay, next question is from Kathy Longo. When will you start carrying Stitch People products? We're working on it. So we, um, can you follow up today? We, um, what they want to do is they want to go through their catalog and pick what they want us to offer, and we have not heard back on what they want. So we are, as soon as they tell us what we can carry, then we're going to. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be offering that as PDF, just like they do. Uh, from Caroline Borden, not sure if it was asked yet, but when will Priscilla's fabric be back in stock? Oh, we're going to talk about that in a little bit. Um, it should be in a couple of weeks. So we have some fabric ordered in a couple of weeks for their kits. And then their fabric by the yard should be back in stock in November, December. So um, we bought a ton of it, more than we have bought of... It, it's just, I'm sorry. We bought more than we thought we needed and... Um, Things are just right now, there's not, there's more demand than there is of supply mm -hmm. in, in, in our business and then the people we buy from's business. So it just, it's a trickle down effect. And from Princess P, Holly Martin, what are the main differences between silk, cotton, and do you use the called for number of strands with silk floss? So cotton is just cotton so it's like what you would find at a michael's or a joann's silk can be either spun spun or reeled you can google that and it will tell you the difference between those two but it is very fine and silky i use the same so when i use bell Soie, which is classic color works version i use the same number of strands and um what i would do is just do a little bit and if you think it's too thin or not full enough just add one more strand um, so I'm going to show you whips now. We have a lot of whips. Ooh. Mistletoe Lane was our mystery that is now not a mystery. And um, you, you can buy this as a PDF. And Ashley is stitching this. She's using 14 count Graceful Gray. So this is Witchell. This is my favorite brand. She's using the called for DMC. So on the pattern we list weeks and DMC. It looks so good. And she's a brand new stitcher. Yeah, I know it looks good, right? Mm -hmm. I'm super proud of her. And then the next three are by Cheryl. The first one is Hollow's Eve Haunting. This one, she is, okay, this is picture this plus. It is 32 count murky linen. That's the color by Picture This Plus. She's using the Call For DMC. And this is a husband and wife team, Autumn Lane is. And the, the wife comes up with the ideas and the husband charts it, I think, or mm. vice versa. I can't remember which. But one is an artist and one converts it. And let's see. There's a picture of them. Hold on. So there they are. So this is the husband, the wife, and it's got the little story about them. Mm. Sorry, I can't. And so that is one. You can tell right now that Cheryl loves Halloween. Halloween Quaker by Lila Studio. She is stitching again on 32 count Murky Lugana, picture this plus, called for floss. And um, this pattern has a combination of classic color works and DMC listed. And on the picture of this plus, we started with 14 count and 28 count. Once we get our stock back in of that, we will add some 32 count, but we wanna focus on 14 and 28 first. And then once we get those orders filled, we will add. The next one I've been showing you for a while, it's Quaker Pumpkin. Hold on a second. Oh. This is by Hello from Liz Matthews. She's stitching on 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast linen called for Weeks Dye Works Floss. And she thinks it would look great on anything that is light, like a lighter fabric. It's so pretty. This, I don't know, I, I would love if she timed it so I would know how long this took her. I, I would love, this would look great in my house, just this part. I would definitely not, I don't know. I've never done a border this complicated. I bet I could do it. 
I might, but can you imagine doing this and then you get off right here oh, and man. then you go all the way across and then you have to rip it out? That's what I see people do on floss tubes that do this intricate stuff. And so that's why I don't do it because I can't imagine. And then I'm gonna take a tiny, tiny break and I'll be right back and Lily is coming. All right. Etsy ditsy, teeny weeny, tiny little break. Um, yes, hello everyone, <laughs> my name's Lily. Uh, I am going to be showing you all uh, flash sales for today. And then uh, I did start stitching as you guys saw last week and update you on my progress with that. So let me cut to top camera here. Ooh. And let me grab the stuff, the goods. Okay. So flash sales for today are the Apple Orchard uh, cross stitch pattern by Country Cottage Needleworks. So cute. I love the little apples in the baskets right there. And then, oh, sorry guys, I'll take the spider away. I know it. Uh, it can get a little freaky with that sometimes. Um, and then our next flash sale for today is Milk and Cream uh, Co. Company cross stitch pattern by Plum Street Samplers. And look at the little cow. It's so cute. I love cows on cross stitch. I will eventually cross stitch a cow. So those are the flash sales. And then my stitching that I'm working on is by Tiny Modernist. The pattern is farm fresh and homegrown. And this is where I'm at. So I mentioned last week I changed a few of my colors because when I bought this, I actually went, uh, we were overwhelmed with orders here at the time. And so I just went to uh, Michael's, bought the fabric, uh, and then just picked from DMC that they had. So some of the colors are changed a little bit. I actually got a little pumpkin needle minder uh, cause it's October and I was feeling the pumpkin. Um, yeah, and so this fabric is 14 count. It is very similar to the natural witch out 14 count that we carry. Uh, and yeah, this is where I'm at. So it's gonna say farm fresh and then homegrown. And then I just started on this carrot last night. And the carrot color is a little neon, but I think it was the only orange they had that day. So I'm just gonna roll with it and see how it goes. I think it looks good. Oh, thank you. Oh, Kimberly's here, hello. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's my progress. And I will hand it back over to Kimberly. Let me make sure I grab everything. Do, do, do. End of intermission. Thank you. Aren't you proud of her for stitching? Oh, we're gonna have everybody here stitching and quilting and yes, doing okay. everything. Um, we also have, in addition to everything I showed you, some stitched finishes and some framed finishes. So I have some stitched finishes. This first one was released this morning. Last week, sorry. This is last week. This is Gingerbread Cottage. This one was released this morning, which is part two. And there's gonna be four of these ornaments. They're releasing them every Wednesday in October. This one is called Santa's Cookies. And then Lily's gonna show the two. Now I stitched on black. So this is what this one looks like, black versus aqua. And Layla May Designs is selling an aqua fabric that you can use to make this if you wanna make it this exact aqua. Their Facebook group is L-E-L-A-M-A-E. -E, um, and you can buy this aqua fabric that they are hand dyeing. And then the next one is today's, so you can see the difference. And then my next finish is also a club and we're going to show you next week the first five together. So I finished this a couple days ago. This is by Pine Mountain Designs. This is April. We have a snapshots club that will ship monthly in 2021, January through December. These will be hand-selected threads by uh, me, Denise, and Cody. We have stitched, or I have stitched the first five. Denise has been so lovely and she's been framing this for me. So next week, we're gonna actually show you 
January through May. And then today and tomorrow, we're gonna be picking the June and July colors so that I can stitch those. And so I'm gonna stitch these way in advance. If, and your club will come with this 10 count farmhouse by Lori Holt. And the reason we did this is because it looks like a picture. We want it to look, and it will fit an eight by 10 frame that you can just buy at Hobby Lobby so you don't have to spend money on going to a custom framer. And I'm just now realizing that I forgot to do the, um, the eyes and the whiskers. So I need to do that before she frames it. <laughs> I just now noticed. I was like, wait a minute. Oh my goodness. So I'll have to do that today. That's pretty good. I would have, oh well, nobody would have noticed. <laughs> and you can see on this one, I didn't have a lot of time this week. So because I didn't have time, I didn't chop this off. Usually I would have chopped this off, surged the edges. I didn't have time, so I just didn't. And so now I can actually save. I can probably save like a little bit down here. And then our framed finishes, you're going to just die when you see these. Oh my gosh. So this one is August trucking along and I'm in our fat quarter shop club and Priscilla finished it for me. So pretty. I love it. I'm so excited when she, she doesn't ever text me and show me them. She just waits for me to find them on social media. And so I'm not very great about being on social media. So I saw it on Sunday and was like in the middle of the day, I was like, oh my gosh, I should have been on earlier. So you can see that when she stitched hers, her and Chelsea, they did two parts and they finished them separately. I'm doing all of mine as one part. I'm using the chalkboard black, which will, and actually I had leftover from all of these that I'm actually using to do the ornaments that I just showed you. And I'm gonna read you the back. Frame is from Hobby Lobby. On the back, it says, mix the media 12 by 16, and the number at the top says JB0994. The number on the bottom says 16789, I can't talk, 16789-2020-01, which must mean they released that in January of 2020. My next frame finish is called Pumpkin Pile. And this is a, I know it's so cute, right? Yes. This is a, this was a freebie that was included if you bought the Goals Garland PDF from either me, Fat Quarter Shop, or Stitching with the Housewives. So in that chart, you actually get two patterns. And this little book, it's um, a little book, uh, empty, like it's like a little container. And you can get this at Michael's. It's $5.99 and it says Halloween Hocus Pocus Super Cherry Ashland. 632740. Maybe I'll have to put some candy corn in here. Yes. It's so cute. So, okay, on this, I forgot to say. So this pattern comes free with Gold's Garland. In your pattern, you get a cat, a kitty cat. But Priscilla made me a pug for my dog. So if you want to make the pug, you can get that free on priscillas2000.blogspot.com. And the colors that I used were from my stash. I used pumpkin harvest for the pumpkin, 12 grain for the other pumpkin, four leaf clover for over here, morning glory, Tea and Biscuits is the outside of Piggy. Trail Dust is the inside of Piggy. And Artichoke is the darker green. This right here, his collar is what is used for Morning Glory. You can hardly see it, but it's like little purple and orange. And um, when I got this, I basically just used my stash. So I didn't use the colors they called for. I just changed them, whatever I had in my stash. And like I said, this fabric right here was left over from making these so I just saved the bottom left or bottom right and this is part of Priscilla's pretty plaids that just came out so that's another framed finish I'm so excited I'm taking that home today my kids are gonna just love it the next one is Liberty Chalkful this was the last in the series of seven by Hands on Design and Priscilla Blaine it comes with two charts this one and the pillow so I made this one and Priscilla finished it and it looks amazing. 
So this is Priscilla's Pretty Plaids right here. This is Lori Holt Cloud Vintage Trim. And this is a plaque from Hobby Lobby. So I will turn it over and show you the um, number in a second, but it's so pretty. And I'm actually, next week, I'm gonna try to find all seven of these and show them to you so that if you haven't made them, you can see how they all look together. Right now, I have two of them up. I have the sunflower up in my house and the pumpkin one up in my house. So this is Hobby Lobby. It says July 4th, 2020 is the name of the piece, and the number is 5720842. So huge thank you to Priscilla for finishing this for me. So I'm gonna actually hold these up so you can see them on the front, so you can see how big they are. Or you can see scale, so that if you're interested in one of these, you can see the scale when you go to the store to look for it. Mm -hmm. So that is Liberty. And that one has where it'll stand up, and then this is August. So this one I need to get an easel for. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm -hmm. Matches my house. This is like the color of my house. <laughs> Gray. And then this, I'm so excited. I'm gonna put it out and just see, wait till I see one of my kids see it. I'm gonna wait and they're gonna be like, oh, they're gonna try to take it. I already know <laughs> what they're gonna try to do. You should fill it with candy corn before you put it out to see if they discover it. Oh no, because then they will try to be in there eating it. <laughs> I'm not gonna really let them, I'm gonna put it right here so. I did. I'm so excited about it. It's so cute. Yeah, and then these are the four. So these are the four original um, Halloween ornaments by Priscilla and Chelsea. So you can find all of these as PDFs on our side or on Stitching with the Housewives on Etsy. And there are four Christmas ones that they released previously that I've done. And the two that I showed this week are um, the gingerbread and there's gonna be two more. So I'm just gonna have a ton of trees at my house going on next year. The hard part is that I, I have to leave this at work. So then I don't get to enjoy it as much, but like in two or three years, I'll be able to, or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, but it looks so pretty. And then this is part of stitch card set F that I've been working on and these are turned into pillows so we have all four of these in pillows also so you can see you can mix designers you can mix fabric this is 25 count what's the name of the color overcast so this is 25 count overcast by Lori Holt this is uh Witchell 14 count chalkboard black this is classic color works this is DMC it all works together as a whole and so when you're decorating, don't feel like you have to use the same designer or the same cloth or the same anything. You just mix and match what you like. And in the end, it will all look together. That's one thing that I've learned from Lori. So I used to have a really hard time shopping and finding things to decorate my house. I never used to decorate my house because I didn't feel like I knew how. And Lori would tell me when we were in the stores and Lily can vouch because she's been in the stores with Lori. If you like it, it will look good in your house just buy what you like and if you like it it will all come together and so i've learned from trusting lori because i've been shopping with her a million times that she's right and you don't have to feel like because sometimes i feel like we have to always use the same fabric or always use the same floss or don't mix silk like you you don't have to do any rules if you like it do it it'll work it'll all look good together and then this this is our design this is fat quarter shop this is fabric flare hazy gray totally different Weeks dye works, different fabric, different um, thread than this. It all looks good together. So if you like it, do it or buy it and it will look good. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I've learned is when I was, um, probably took me about three, four, three years. I kind of started decorating about three years ago. And to start, I was so nervous. I would text Lori, do you like this? Do you like this? I even did it the other day. I was like, do you like this? And she was like, well, I like half of it. So, but she gave me the confidence to like, okay, if you like it, get it. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so my house is decorated. It's not all the way decorated, but it's mostly, but it took me three years to do that. It did, it's not like you can do it all at once. Mm -hmm. And we have like a section where there's Halloween and the whole staircase is a Halloween with like spiders and my kids did that. And it's great cause it's theirs, but like my sections fall. So we kind of, um, divide it out, but you don't have to feel like even Christmas. I finally have the Christmas tree I want. I finally have the ornaments I want, but it wasn't done all at once. 
um, because for what I do, it takes me a couple of years to get it like all together. Mm-hmm. I'm super picky when I go to the store. You can ask Lily or Denise. Like I'm super picky. Like have to really think about it before I get it. I'm super picky about everything, and especially food. That's one thing. I am so picky about food. Mm-hmm. And I'm excited. Kevin's birthday is Friday. Yay. And um, we were trying to decide where we would go eat. And obviously, um, we I don't really know. So we were driving by last night. He drives a different way to work than I do, and I was riding with him. And there's a restaurant near our house that I've been to once. Nobody else in my family has been there. I actually went the day COVID started because I felt like that was going to be the last time I could ever eat. So I went there by myself for lunch because I do that. And I had a a wonderful meal with wine in the middle of the day because I knew it was coming. And I was like, I'm I'm just going to celebrate while I can. So we're going to go there Friday. And I'm super excited because they have like, it's different. It's like, um, they have like meatloaf out of steak it's just like a weird combo and so i know that my son peyton's gonna love it yeah and i think they have steak but i asked him like do you want to go to dinner for your like do you want to like i don't even know what we're gonna do like i was like well maybe saturday we could go there's a guitar store in austin and he said well i don't want to go touch a guitar Mm -hmm. and i was like well we could go and you could look Mm -hmm. so we're gonna maybe do that we're Mm -hmm. not sure i'm gonna try to convince him Mm -hmm. try to convince him Mm -hmm. Uh, let's see, question from Crafting a Planned Life. If I'm using 14 count Ada for the prim sampler, what size piece do I need if I want to make it as a whole piece? Denise is going to look. Prims, yeah. We have it somewhere. Okay. She'll find it. And so then, I'll answer the next one. Okay. Oh, wait, no, she's already there. Oh, she's got it. She's quick. She's the speedy floss whisperer. Okay, we'll keep going. Okay. So I saw you. Oh. Still <laughs> uh, from Michelle Hardy, does the Floss Fix Club repeat after 12 months? What it does, it repeats colors. It does not repeat floss. It will be the same color. So it will be different whites or different pinks. And after like two or three years, it will start to repeat. But as of now, we are not in repeat. So if you're in our RFL club, that's our quilting club, which is one of our most popular, that one does have repeats, but it won't be exact repeats. And nobody has ever even noticed. I've had people in that club from the beginning. But, you know, at some point you're going to run out of colors. Mm -hmm. From Faye Dixon, can you suggest another color besides aqua or black for these ornament designs of Stitching with the Housewives? So I think uh, maybe a gray would look good. The gray, um, maybe a hazy gray or a dark gray would look good. Um, Some people might think a purple would look good. You definitely don't want to stitch it on white because they have a lot of white outlines. So you need something that has an actual color. Oh, okay, if you're stitching prim stitch series on 14 count, you need a piece of fabric that's 20.5 by 25.5. That's with the three inch border on all sides. So that's six inches total around. From Dina Seiza, is Snapshot beginner friendly? Like real beginner, never tried before beginner friendly. Yes. And we are going to be doing a series next year. I'm not gonna tell you too much about it because I don't want somebody to copy me, but I'm going to show you how easy it is. From Wilma Evans, I have been doing my cross stitch 1x at a time. I am so slow and cannot get my speed up. Any suggestions? A lot of people do 1x at a time. Cheryl does 1x at a time. Denise does 1x at a time. When you're doing 1x at a time, if you go right to left, you can go faster. And if you go from top to bottom, you can go faster. So what you can do is you can stitch from top to bottom, turn it over, top to bottom turn it over top to bottom or right to left flip it over right to left because you're the way your needle goes you can go faster Mm -hmm. for me but so I do flip my project over I just got to make sure your X's go the same way Mm -hmm. but I do that even when I do rows I'll do anything to go faster Mm -hmm. like especially this week I was I was literally not only did I do everything I just showed you And there is no backup stitcher. There's nobody behind the scenes faking that I'm doing this. This is me. Not only did I do that, I stitched the 12 designer mystery blocks for our quilting channel that we're gonna release today or tomorrow. And this weekend, in addition to everything I just told you I need to do, and Priscilla's ornaments, I'm going to do the designer mystery finishing. I'm gonna finish it so I can send it to my quilter. And my hand is going to fall off. (laughs) (laughs) Um, 
Lori Colgan said, how come all of the Fat Quarter Halloween stuff has spiders with ten legs? I don't know. I think they have eight. They have eight? Yeah. We just bought these at Hobby Lobby. Okay. I don't know. That's we what just, I thought. I think they're eight. Oh, this? One, two, three, four, five. This is eight legs. Yeah. That's eight. That's what I was kind of looking at. Uh, but let us know if you were referring to a different spider. <laughs> and, I mean, we just picked um, what we thought would match. Um, and lots of people want to know how Piggy is doing, and they want to hear a Piggy story. Oh. Is Piggy's, there a Piggy story? Piggy's good. Piggy has been, um, he's getting to where he talks, which sounds so weird. But when he wants food, he'll cry. He'll go, meow, meow, meow. And then if you don't give him food, he won't stop. He won't go to sleep. So, like, you have to feed him more and more. And he will not eat and during the day. He will not eat if you feed him at breakfast. He will not eat if you feed him at lunch. He will not eat. He only eats at night. And if we don't take him to daycare, he will literally just sit and cry. So, we don't want him to go to daycare because we want him to stay home with us and, like, go for a walk. He'll go for a walk and he'll know that we're trying to keep him at home. And he will literally just sit there and cry. And so, he, like, will cry until he gets what he wants. But he's so cute. Um... Saturday, Kevin was like, when is the last time that dog had a bath? And I was like, well, does he stink? And he was like, yeah. So I gave him a bath. And I was like, yeah, maybe he did stink. <laughs> Stinky piggy. He's cute, though. He really is. Uh, okay. From Mary Ashcraft, if I signed up for the week's monthly floss, will I get this month or wait till next month? Email Kathy at fatquartershop.com. Her email is C-A-T-H-Y at fatquartershop.com. Let her know what you want. She will take care of it. She's awesome. From Katie McNatt, a question. I inherited a lot of unused patterns when my mom passed away. Can I sell them on eBay or Etsy? Just want to make sure the cross-stitch police don't come after me. Yes. I mean, if somebody else has used that pattern, you technically shouldn't resell it because it's copyright. But if you haven't used it, you can sell it. I would recommend eBay for that. Mm. I mean, some people do do that. Like... Mm -hmm. But that's kind of one of those things that to me, when I'm done with it, when I'm done with the pattern, I give it to Denise and Denise keeps it so that at the end of the year, I can, because at the end of this year, we're going to show you all projects I've done. Ooh. It is going to be 90, Ooh. 90 projects. And we are going to show you the, that and then the pattern. And when I'm done, the pattern's going to go in the trash because if Denise wants to make it, Denise is going to buy her own pattern because the authors and the people who do this need to make money. So Cody did this. Part of Cody's salary is she's paying for her salary by doing it. If somebody buys this and gives it to her 10 friends, Cody's not going to get paid. Do you know what I'm saying? I mean, not really, but technically that's how it all works. So you're running a business. I wouldn't want to not pay for something. So when Priscilla and Chelsea come out with an ornament, I pay for that. Even because that is their, that's how they get paid. I mean, you can't like... You don't want to buy like a Lori Holt pattern and then make copies for your friends. First of all, that's copyright infringement. And second of all, that's how Lori gets paid. That's how she pays her rent, her kids to go to college, all of that stuff. Like y'all, I mean, some people think, oh, it's just fun. We'll go to a retreat. We'll just copy patterns. It's first of all, it's just like wrong to do. But second of all, it's taking away people's pay mm -hmm. and how they get paid. I mean, technically, that's not. Cody's pay does not depend on that. I'm just giving you an example of mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Next question from Barbara Wells. Uh, when will four to, is sorry, 16 count Ada chalkboard be back in stock? It will probably be two to three weeks. Uh, Witchell is about three to four weeks behind on shipping. I know we've ordered that a couple of weeks ago. From Diane Hendricks, hi, when you share prim done in one piece, can you share ideas on how to finish it since it's so large? Thank you. So um, on the back of the pattern, can I see it? Um, we give all the details. We're using a medium Lori Holt frame. And what you can do, is it in here? The actual piece? Where's the one that I just showed today? Sorry, I think I put it back over there. There we go. So this right here is upside down. Can you show the front? Yes. Sorry. Okay, this is a medium frame from Lori Holt that we sell. So you could buy one frame, leave it white or paint it white. 
This right here is prim fabric. This right here is prim fabric. This is prim lace. And on the back of every pattern, we put the name of the frame, which is the medium eight inch frame. We put the color that Lori paints this in. And this is prim fabric every time and natural lace every time. So you could technically buy one frame. You could put it in the back and switch it out each time if you wanted to. So you could, you buy these little insert things at like Home Depot and you can switch it out. We're changing our colors each time to be different and because on the set, I can't have like Denise switching out frames, she'd kill me. So we're doing 12 different frames. Technically you don't need 12 different frames. And then on the back, we put all this information also on the library stitch cards from Lori Holt. And if you were wanting to finish it in like one large piece with all of them together, Lori Holt just told us she's doing it all yes. in one piece and she's gonna frame it in a large frame all together. Yes. So you'll be able to see that. Yep. Um, also earlier, Teresa Colts and Scraps let us know that it's uh, National Dessert Day. Happy National Dessert oh, Day. Oh, well good, because this morning I had a chocolate croissant from Starbucks Ooh. because I've been eating really healthy and I haven't had one in a while and I was like, you know what, today, I'm just gonna have one. Treat yourself. Cause I have to like do a bunch of videos and I'm like, I'm gonna like do, give myself a reward before I do them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm also trying to put myself in a good mood cause I'm like so stressed out with everything. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. So I wanna show you some new stuff that we have. The very first thing I'm excited about is the 2021 Prim Calendar Reservation. And so this is the image of it. This obviously goes with the Prim Stitch Series Cross Stitch. So you can see that all of those will be in cross stitch. And this is going to be a 2021 calendar. You can pre-order it. It will be arriving in November. And it's obviously by Lori Holt. You just pay a reservation fee. And then when it comes in, you'll be the first one to get it because we will ship it out. And um, I'm super excited about that. And Riley Blake is publishing that calendar for Lori. So when Riley Blake gets that calendar to us, it's also based on her quilt that is a free sew along using the Prim series. So you're gonna see going forward a lot, most of what Lori does in quilts, we're gonna do in cross stitch also. This morning we released the first quilt pattern by Priscilla and Chelsea. It's called Plaid Farmhouse. It's using Priscilla's pretty plaids and um, it's two size options, a table runner and a lap. So I'm gonna show both of them to you. I'm not gonna stand up though. I'm going to, ow, ow, sorry. I'm gonna show you the table runner. This is the Ooh. table runner. Teresa made it, Gina Tell quilted it. And so if you want it, and she, Priscilla and Chelsea really wanted something that was going to be really big so that if you had a farmhouse table, you could put it on there. So if you wanted to make it smaller, you could obviously um, just leave the borders off if you wanted something smaller. So that's the table runner version. So the pattern is out today. The quilts will be available in a couple of weeks because that is a bigger order and we placed it after our original order. So Henry Glass is printing that fabric. This is the quilt version, and it's very big. This is made by Teresa and also quilted by Gina, and it's a chicken wire, I think. Isn't that what that is? Yes. So I'm going to show these on Friday on our quilt live stream, and then we're going to mail them to Priscilla and Chelsea. And our kits will be in stock, like I said, in a couple of weeks. So there's that. I'm just gonna leave it in my lap. So pretty, it matches your Look shirt. Look at, oh, it does match my shirt. <laughs> I didn't even know. I didn't realize your shirt had sparkly stuff in it until today. Sparkly stuff. Yeah. Oh, the, the thread? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Um, some other new things we got is Sweet Treats by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is an older pattern that they re-released. The Prairie Schooler Cats, Bats, and Witches. This is also an older pattern re-released. And this one came in, it's his and hers Thanksgiving stockings. And we got that because Lori is doing this as part of Stitchtober. So we wanted to make sure that um, we had it in stock to sell. 
And then I want to show you this. I'm so excited. I haven't been this excited in a while. Layla May made this for me. Oh, I know. He's so cute. I know. So Layla May is L-E-L-A-M-A-E. -E. They're a Facebook group. It's a mom. It's, it's a sister, two sisters, a mom, and a mother. And look at their bag. So they have a bag sale every month. They have a wood sale every month, and they're also selling um, that Ada that we talked about, the Aqua. And I don't know who designed this, but I just know it's cute. So uh, the funny story is we hardly ever get the mail. That's just something that I'm really bad at. I never get the mail. I actually don't have a mail key. So the mail came, and it said to me, and I thought, oh, that's not for me because I haven't ordered anything. So I told my son Peyton to order it because sometimes we order like hair stuff or whatever for the kids because we don't really go to the store. So I was like, it's probably for y'all. So they opened it and he brought it to me and I was like, what? He's like, it's for you. I'm like, what? And I was like, wait, who's it from? I was like, go back in that bag and get me the note that's in there. I didn't know who it was from or anything. I was so excited. Mm. I know. I love it. It's so cute. Mm. I'm so excited. So I'm going to use it. Oh, that's so cute. That's great. I know. And I'm not going to let my kids touch it. Mm -hmm. They try to anything with Piggy. They try to, they try to take it. All right, uh, going back to some questions we got earlier, Kim Fuller said, I have a big question, new cross-stitcher. When, when are you supposed to use one strand over two or two strands over two? I'm not sure on what count those are supposed to be. Could you explain? So for Ada, you always go over one on anything that's 24 count and up, like 24 to 40 count would be you stitch over two, and it would depend um, what size you have whether you would use one strand or two strands. We have a cross stitch key that has all of that information on it. And from Tamara Bowen, what is the size of the Ada in the neutral club, uh, the fabric size? It's 18 by 27 is Witchell and then we'll look at fabric flare. 18 by 27. And from Barbara Spears, how was your visit with Jan Hicks at the cross-stitch shop in San Antonio? Oh, it's not until like two or three weeks from now. Nice. It's on Halloween. Ooh. Yeah, so not yet. She did release a video with pictures of the shop, though, so I can look at that and see what I'm going to get to see because I haven't been to that shop yet. And then in November, I'm going to go to Lori's house. We're going to go to Shepherd's Bush. Mm -hmm. and we're also going to go to Pine Mountain Designs, which I'm doing a lot of her stuff, and I'm going to go through all of her cross-stitch patterns that she has so that we can offer more of her stuff. So, guys, have a great week. Thanks for joining me, and make sure to come back next week for Stitchtober Week 3, and give us a like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you can be notified when we have videos. Thanks for joining me today. Bye, everyone.